Hello, I'm Tristan, and I'm fine. We're going to cover Always today, the band from Prince Edward Island. Always is one of the bands that converted me to the more indie side of things. I hold a very soft place for them in my heart, so I thought I would try to do them justice today by trying to make a song that kind of sounds like them. So here we go. first thing I did was make a synth pad. I made it pretty warm sounding, like an organ from outer space. That's what I would define it as. Just go to synthesizers, classics, and classic pad and adjust to your liking. Here's what I came up with as the basis for this song. For the rhythm section, I kept it pretty 4-4, if you know what I mean. The bass is just sort of pumping the root notes like it does in Dreams Tonight, and the drum beat is also very much like Dreams Tonight, and many songs that exist, so here's that. first guitar is Molly's guitar, Molly Rankin, the singer and rhythm guitarist. She keeps it pretty Fender-y sounding, so I kept it Fender-y sounding. I used a Fender type amp, clean room. It sounds really clean, and you can make it reverby and stuff, which is very always. Molly usually plays straight up chords with like open notes, so that's what I did. And I just made a chord progression in the key of C or, or something. The thing about always is that the ingredients are very common, it's just the way they exist in the mix sort of makes it always-esque, I guess, along with the vocal melody and Molly's voice. I think it's pretty signature sounding, but anyway, here is her part. <laughs> For the other guitarist, Alec, his sound goes between just as clean as Molly's and then just super disgusting, nasty, fuzzed out type of sound. And uh, I went for another Fender amp for him. Uh, for the verse, we're going to keep it clean and do some arpeggio type stuff, but we're going to get nasty later. The amp I used for him is the Old Combo, which is an amp that I've been coming to love in my Logic adventures. In fact, it's really easy to get a classic Tame Impala sound out of this amp. I'll show you what I mean for a second. Here's a little sample of something that I came up with. Maybe I can evaluate that song further in another episode, but for now, let's get back to Always. always. In the pre-chorus, we get nasty with Alex's guitar, but everybody else in the band stays a more blissful calm, and the nasty fuzzed out guitar creates this chaos in the background. Starting to open up the song. You know, we're opening up the hi-hat, the bass isn't just pumping, it's grooving, and uh, we're going along. In terms of the philosophy of playing each part, it's pretty much the same as the verse, uh, just different chords because that's what you do in songs. Not that complicated a concept. For the bridge, we're back at the snail mail type bridge. I'm sure countless musicians do this. It's just a way of having tension within a song. You go to one instrument playing something and then it gradually gets louder until you get back into the chorus. I found with Always that when the guitars start to come back in, they do complementary arpeggio sort of stuff, blending together, creating this spectral fabric of jangly guitar sound, then goes back into the chorus. Some lyrical
historical content for you to use if you want to make a song, sort of like always, is to talk about expectations put on you, young people, the intricacies of being in a relationship, trying to build and maintain a healthy relationship. And also, coming from Prince Edward Island, as always does, sometimes there's some reference to the water or the dock or sailing, you know, that kind of stuff. Might want to add some background vocals that are saying things that are not what the lead singer is saying. In Dreams Tonight, that's what happens. So I did that here as well. I'm anxious to see if anyone thinks this sounds like always. This is harder than I expected it to be because writing a song like them is more than meets the eye. But anyway, here's the song. like that song. I think it's pretty decent. 
let me know how close you think I got, or give me tips on how to improve my always copying powers. Suggest other artists that you would like to hear me cover. And that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>